Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am at Salvation Army and I am super excited because first of all, they have a sale of like a whole bunch of random items with 50% off and secondly, I have not been to this thrift store before so I'm super pumped to see how it goes. I am crossing my fingers, it is a good one. I have no idea, I didn't really read the reviews either so we will see but I'm super excited like I always say because it's thrifting, I love thrifting so let's just go thrifting. I just finished in the Salvation Army and honestly that one sucks so bad I like walked in there and it was tiny like I thought it'd be a lot bigger and the stuff just kind of really sucks so I was like eh, I don't really want to film this because this is like terrible like this is not good content so I'm like okay I'm gonna go but I ended up finding one skirt which is not bad I got it 50% off so that's awesome but um yeah really disappointed with that one but I guess I should have checked, you know, the reviews and more about the store before coming here, but that's okay. I'm going to go to another one. I don't know where, but I'll figure it out. So let's go to another one. Okay, so I just arrived at the next Salvation Army, and I'm crossing my fingers. I do well here because the last one was so terrible, so I'm excited, but I'm also a little nervous. If I do badly at this one, I am just going to go to Value Village, you know. If all else fails, let's go to Value Village because, you know, 90% of the time I do well there. So let's cross our fingers and let's just go into the thrift store and hope I find something. Something? You know? I don't know. So at this particular location, I always find the best blouses, so I was really happy they had them on sale. Like, they had this J. Crew one, and they also had this vintage one with, like, the big disco collar, which I thought was really, really cool. I know it's kind of coming back. I'm not, not too sure that it will come back fully, but I thought that one was really cool. And it was also only $2.50. Unfortunately, with this store, they actually don't have carts. It is very, very tiny. Like, the aisles are so small, so you kind of have to just settle with a little buggy, like, wagon thing. I don't know what you would call them, like, a, a pull basket, I guess you would call it. As you can see, like, it, it is tiny, this store. You can barely get two people down an aisle. So this sale, they actually had all the skirts 50% off as well. Found some amazing vintage skirts, just like that one. It's my absolute favorite. I found this really cool corduroy jacket. It was from Zara. It was a men's one, but you know, I love me some men's clothing. So, you know, I had to try that one on. And yeah, they had a lot of amazing skirts. I think someone donated a whole bunch of skirts that were almost perfect sizing. Some are a tad big, but I found some really, really amazing skirts, which I feel like it's been a while since I've found some skirts. I feel like Value Village lately has been lacking in their skirt section, but definitely not this Salvation Army. I found a lot of vintage ones that, you know, are my absolute favorite. Vintage is my jam, so I found a whole bunch. There were some current ones too. I also found this amazing skirt, which is so, so cute. It was brand new with tags and it was vintage. So. I thought that was pretty rad that I was able to find a brand new vintage skirt if that really makes sense. I found a lot of really cool patterns too, but I just wasn't sure if they were like too grandma or, you know, ugly or they were in style. I, yeah, I didn't really know, so I had to pass on a lot of skirts just because I was very, very unsure. And then I also found this other Nike skirt that was the same as the first store, which is such a weird coincidence, so I picked that up. And then they had some, yeah, this was one of those patterns that I was very unsure about. Obviously, it is not for me. It's definitely not something I would wear, but I thought it was very interesting. So now we are at the dress shirts for the men's, which is awesome because they have a lot of flannel and also like denim kind of shirts, if you know what I mean. I also found this really cool red Levi's 
flannel, I would say. Yeah, I guess you would call that a flannel kind of dress shirt. I'm not really sure, but I thought it was really cool. But usually red is just too much for me, so I passed on it. But I also found some really cool denim one, which I'm denim dress shirts. Yeah, I'm like struggling with this but I found a few and I'm definitely gonna be doing some thrift flips with them because I don't want to ruin all my denim jackets so that is where I'm gonna be practicing all my calligraphy is on those denim flannels that I found and they were like super cheap I want to say they were a few dollars which is crazy crazy to think about and they're a nice and oversized look so I'm I'm definitely excited to you know play with those my cart is getting so full look at it Oh, are these Levi's? <gasps> They're the orange tag Levi's. What the heck? Yeah, vintage Levi's. Gotta try these on too. See, I think these could be so cute as like shorts. Like they look really high-waisted. Like look at the zipper, it's like goes forever. So I don't know, should I? It's always risky buying jeans and then having to cut them. So I don't know. I could try them. They're too big, so I could put them in my store. We'll just <laughs> add it to my huge pile. Look what I just found. It is this like 90s vintage sweater. I mean, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm so stoked. But oh my gosh, today I'm just doing so freaking well with this Salvation Army. It's incredible. about this one i thought it was really cute when i saw it on the rack because it's like a nice like vintage nike but i don't know now well it's kind of hard because i'm wearing this outfit but mm, i think i'm gonna have to pass the columbia and then i found this corduroy jacket which is super super nice it's super soft and really good condition and it's like super fuzzy inside yeah, it's really cute. There's like a random sock in here. Okay, let's try on some jeans. These are supposed to be a 27 men's and look at this waist. Look how big that is. Yeah, definitely not a 27 waist at all, but they're like really short. I'm pretty sure these are women's jeans, but they are just not fitting too hot. So yeah, gonna pass on these. So these ones are actually pretty high-waisted, which I'm surprised about, and they fit really nice. But again, look at that waist. It, it is huge. <laughs> these ones are way too big, so yeah, not gonna work. And then the last pair, which I'm really bummed because these were my favorite, and they, they're just way too tight in the, that area. But look at them. They're so cool. This skirt, oh my gosh. Or this skirt, it is. Yep, I'm definitely getting this. This is like, I don't even, I don't even know. I just, I just love it so much. Okay, that Salvation Army was definitely a lot better than the last one, you know. Bye mom, bye mom. My mom just drove by, but. Anyways, Brick, I did so well with that Salvation Army. I'm so pumped to show you what I got. Like, look at all this. Yep. Yep. 
definitely definitely crushed it so i'm super excited i won't go to the value village i'm just gonna go home now just because i, I got a lot of stuff already so <laughs> this is already gonna be a big haul so uh, i will see you at home when i do the haul okay so we are back home now and i am ready to show you what i got at the salvation army sale today i am so pumped with what i got today and to be honest I was really thinking that I wasn't going to be able to film this video because I was, did, or I didn't do anything at the first store. I did terrible. So super, super happy that my local Salvation Army pulled through and made this video happen. And also I got a lot of really, really cool stuff. So also pumped about that, but let's get into the haul. Okay. So I'm going to start with the first store because I only found one item and might as well just start with it. So. The first item I found was this Nike golf skirt, which I'm so pumped because I love golfing and I golf a lot in the summertime and it's so hard to find golf skirts at the thrift store, especially like really nice Nike ones. So super pumped I found this and better yet, it was 50% off. So this skirt is like brand new. It is like this crisp white color and doesn't even look worn, which is freaking amazing. So someone bought this and then never golfed, which is awesome for me because golf skirts are so expensive. So anyways, it was $12.99, so I ended up getting it for $6.50, which is really, really good. Anyways, at the next store, which was super, super odd, I went to the next store and I found the exact same skirt in the exact same size, just a different color, which I was like, what? Like, that's, that's so random that I find the exact same Nike golf skirt at two different stores in the same size but different colors so that was awesome for me so this one is just like kind of like a darker kind of like a charcoal kind of yeah like a gray charcoal color and this one was $8.99 so I ended up getting this one for $4.50 so a little bit cheaper than that one so the other store was clearly a little bit more expensive but seriously $4.50 for a Nike golf skirt like really <laughs> I was so happy that they had the skirts 50% off because I did really, really well in the skirt section. The next skirt I found was this like long kind of midi skirt. Is that midi? Not mini. Midi. Yeah. Midi skirt. And this one is from Gap. It looks like a little bit older, the tag. So maybe like 90s, not 90s, probably 2000s this, this one's from, but it is super cute. It is super flowy and I'm super pumped about this because it looks really good, especially with my new Doc Martens. So... That will be really, really fun to wear. But this one was, it was $3.99, so I ended up getting for $2, like, what? And it actually fits perfect, so I don't know what to say. It was, it was just really good. And the next skirt I found was this really cute vintage, like, mini, mini. This one's a mini skirt, not a mini, mini skirt. And this one was also $3.99, so I ended up getting it for $2. Yeah. I absolutely love this skirt because it is like a cream color and then it's like my favorite color. So I'm super pumped about this. It fit really well just like the other skirt. So clearly someone just donated a whole bunch of vintage stuff and they were my size. So, you know, that's always fun when it happens when someone donates a whole bunch of one thing and they're all your size. Like, that's like thrift goals. And the last one I got, or the last skirt I got, not the last item, but the next one I got was this really, really cute skirt. It is a vintage one. It even still has the tags on it, which is freaking crazy to find vintage items with tags on them still. This one is from Sears, and yeah, I don't think really Sears exists anymore, but <laughs> it is super cute. It is this, this like really cute skirt. It's got the little flap there, and it's a little big on me, but you know, because it is like a denim, and it has these, you know, belt buckle right <laughs> i feel like i said this last time in the video i didn't know what it was called and i read all the comments and everyone told me what it was called but a belt loop i think belt loop that's that's what it's called yeah it has belt loops so i can put a belt through the belt loop so it will fit a lot better but i just couldn't pass it up i absolutely love skorts skorts are like my favorite thing to wear in the summer and i'm always on the hunt for skorts because they're freaking hard to find and they're just hard to find because like no one makes skorts anymore like clearly they should because they're like the best of both worlds like you know you can have fun you can do whatever but you're in a skirt but then you don't have to be self-conscious about showing your underwear to people or your butt like it's like amazing so but i'm super super stoked that i found this vintage skirt because i will be wearing it a lot this summer and this one was also 3.99 so it was two dollars for a brand new skirt like can it get any better? And they also had all blouses and men's... Uh... Ew, stop. 
Like I was saying, they had all the blouses and they had the men's dress shirts on sale, which also includes like flannels and like light denim kind of flannels. So super pumped about that. So you know I went to the men's section and looked through the dress shirts and it was, and it was pretty awesome. I found a few, I'll show you. The first one I found was this corduroys flannel, which is super, super cool because this one's actually Columbia, which is freaking amazing brand. It is a size medium men's and this one was a little bit more pricey, but not really. This one was $9.99, so I ended up getting it for $5, but I just love this green color. Like, I love greens, I love browns, I love denim. Those are like the colors that I just always gravitate to, so when I saw this green, I was like, mm-hmm, getting that, so I got it, and yeah, it, it's, it's just beautiful. The next ones I found, I found two denim flannels, which I'm super pumped about because I had a little discussion on my Instagram where people were suggesting that I should do some calligraphy on the back of some denim jackets, which I think would be so fun. I haven't done that before and I love doing calligraphy and like, you know, just hand lettering and line illustrations. So I thought it'd be really cool if I put them on the back of these kind of flannel denim. So they're kind of casual to wear and I have some denim jackets. So I'm going to probably do an upcoming video of me drawing and doing some calligraphy painting on the back of these. So. I was super pumped that I got these 50% off just because in case I mess up, you know, I didn't spend that much money because denim jackets can be pretty expensive at the thrift store. So I was like, maybe I'll practice on these before I ruin one of my nice vintage denim jackets, so. Okay, and the last item I found was a jacket. My mom actually found this one for me when she was searching with me. They had all the jackets 50% off as well, which is incredible. So, so thank you very much, mother, for finding me this jacket. Anyways, it is this like light puffer, but that's not even the best part. It is freaking North Face. Like, look at this. Freaking puffer. Like, yes, and it's brown. Like, it's a dark brown, which I would have loved, like a camel brown, but really, can I get picky? I don't think so. But yeah, it is a, a North Face smaller puffer because I have a bigger puffer, so this one's like a smaller one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was really obvious. Okay. Anyways, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but it is just this lighter puffer jacket, and this one was $25, so I ended up getting it for $12.50, which is really, really good because freaking North Face is like an amazing brand. So that was nice to find this jacket because I was not expecting that. And I don't have any North Face jackets. So even though I don't really need to add to my collection because I have a lot of, I have a lot of jackets. Oh, I almost forgot. This one was a woman's medium if you were curious about the size. But yeah, that's all for my thrift haul today at the Salvation Army's 50% off sale for certain items because they didn't have the whole store 50% off. They had like half the store, I would say, 50% off. So all the items I got were 50% off. So that is just a bonus. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this thrift with me. I enjoyed it, especially when I got to the second store and I was doing freaking amazing. So anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you are still watching this video right now, let me know which item you like the best from my little, or not little, my thrift haul today because I always like to know what your favorite item is because I find a lot of things and not necessarily everyone's style is the same as mine. So I always love to hear your feedback of what item was your favorite. But just wanted to remind you before I say goodbye, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like thrifting and also follow me on Instagram, Jenna Phipps to see more behind the scenes of my thrifting adventures. And also, if you like any of the items that I do thrift, I also have a store, didbyjenna.com, so you can go check that out if you wanna go shop all my stuff in my closet and things I shop for my subscribers, you know, I'm always adding to that store so you can go get something there. But yeah, that's all I really had to say. So thank you again for watching today's video and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video, right? Yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye guys.